A new report from the KBI shows that last year in Kansas, on average, one domestic violence murder was reported about every 10 days. One DV incident was reported every 22 minutes and law enforcement made a domestic violence arrest every 47 minutes. And it's not just a statewide problem. In Sedgwick County, domestic violence is on the rise. Tonight, Cake News investigator Pilar Pedraza looks into the issue and what some say is behind at least part of the problem. It's a scene we've witnessed in increasing numbers over the last year or so. Standoffs, murder suicides, officer involved shootings like this one from earlier this month. Scenes experts say can often be prevented, but a recent study of Sedgwick County and the city of Wichita requested by the Wichita Police Department determined the city could do better saying a state certified counseling program isn't quote consistently ordered by the courts. He ended up just snapping one night that I came back and just attacked me. I asked a couple of questions apparently that he didn't like. A recent survivor of domestic violence in Wichita, Stevie asked us to hide her identity. She's never even heard of what's called BIP or Batter Intervention Program Assessments. I think, oh my goodness, really, Wichita's not there. Huh. And we're a pretty big city in Kansas, so that's kind of shocking. This study from the Council of State Governments found Sedgwick County has almost twice the rate of domestic violence incidents as the rest of the state and accounts for about a third of the total statewide, a quarter of the arrests and homicides. The study says in part it's because the Wichita Municipal Courts often use anger management training instead of BIP or a shortened form of BIP counseling. We all would love for a battery intervention program to be like a, a, a an afternoon class, right? Or a, you know, an online course. And I'm able to identify and repair any damage. To Steve Halley and his wife, Dorothy Stuckey Halley, provide BIP assessments, counseling, and training in Topeka. So Dorothy helped develop that. the BIP counseling concept in Kansas. We have people from Topeka driving to Wichita for the one day Saturday event so that they can try to get relief from that. And we can't do anything to stop that from happening. The Halleys say time makes a difference, which is why the state certified programs run at least six months. And they were more interested in being efficient with a high caseload. Let's move people in and out. Uh, let's make this quick. Let's make it less expensive for the court system. Kurt Brungart and his wife Christy lost their daughter to domestic violence. In July of 2008, uh, our daughter Jana um, was a law student at the University of Kansas and she was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. And worked hard to get that state BIP law passed in 2012 in her honor. They were also chairs of the State Batterers Intervention Advisory Board in Kansas for five years and spent a lot of time working with the Wichita court system. It became obvious to me through many discussions that they didn't want to be involved in these long certified programs. Legislative records show back in 2012, a Wichita City Court judge who's still on the municipal bench today was one of three people to tell lawmakers this was a bad idea for bigger cities like Wichita because of the cost and time involved. The end result is I'm convinced uh, that women in Wichita are not as safe. Over the last month, we've requested several times to speak with somebody on camera from the city courts by cell phone, text, and email. We haven't been able to make that happen yet, though they say they're working on it. In the meantime, we've had several off-camera conversations. They told me the folks behind the study only asked the municipal court to participate at the last minute, and most of the information refers to the county district court. And the Wichita court says as of September 2021, 89% of those convicted of domestic violence battery were referred for BIP assessment. So that's a start, domestic battery. But what we know is that so many domestic batteries are knocked down to simple battery. Both the Halleys and the Brungart say there are a lot of other domestic violence crimes against people and property that should be included in the assessment statistics. Dorothy adds Kansas has already come a long way from where it was when BIP counseling began and is now a national leader in handling domestic violence cases. We certainly aren't where we need to be in every community, but it's amazing that in this state we've been able to get 
this far. But is it far enough for folks like Stevie, who's still recovering from a traumatic brain injury suffered in a domestic attack? Some severe memory loss. My sense of direction is all backwards. If something had, like this had been in place, had been offered to you and your Years partners, ago, would it have made a difference? Yes, absolutely. We still have a long list of questions for the municipal and district courts about what charges are getting those BIP assessments, who's eligible for the uncertified shorter programs, and the number of cases that are pled down to lesser charges, among others. When we get those answers, we'll bring them to you. Meanwhile, there's also a lot of talk about the cost of these six-month-long programs. New at 10, we'll take a look at the dollars and cents of it all and compare it with the cost you pay when BIP counseling isn't used. Pilar Pedraza, Cake News, investigates.